Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that you too will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I hail you most high, you are my God. I hail you most high. I hail you most high, you are my God. I hail you most high. Sing it one more time, I hail you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we love you. This is all we do tonight. It's worth it. Thank you. King of my life, you are my all, and I live for you alone. King of my life, you have my all, and I lay my life for you. King of my life, you are my all, and I live for you alone. King of my life. Oh, 
Numbers 13, this was the story of the 12 spies. I'll be very brief and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. And the Lord spake unto the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Okay, let's start from 13, 26. And they went and came to Moses and Aaron, as the spies now, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran and Kadesh, and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation, and showed them the fruit of the land, and they told him and said, We came unto the land to which thou sentest us. And surely it flowed with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people are strong that dwell in the land. And the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the Negev. And the Hittites and the Jebusites and Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the edge of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. 31. But the men that went up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Hallelujah. Bless your word tonight. Strengthen us in the name of Jesus. Now, mindsets. I want to talk a little about mindsets. Right, please. Mindsets. Mindsets. A mindset is a value system, an ideology. Hallelujah. My good friend. Come and shake me. Forget about the people. Come and give me a big hug. If you like, hug me, Seth. I've missed you. This way, Jerry. Thank you. I love her. I appreciate her. Many of you, if I say you should come out, too. how are you? I've missed you, Jerry. Give me five. Yes. I go back to your seat. God bless you. A mindset is an ideology. Your value system your plane of perception. The platform from which you judge and interpret things is called a mindset. There are some scriptures that I read in the Bible that really made me afraid over the years. One of them is, for as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. How can God equate a man's life with the content in his heart? He said, for as a man thinketh in his heart. And then another scripture says, guard your heart. Have you ever come across that scripture? It says, guard your heart with all diligence. Be meticulous about it. He said, for out of it. Hallelujah. New Living Translation says, for with it you will chart the course of your destiny. Guard your heart with all diligence. Hallelujah. It's always an honor for me to talk 
not just with different people, but young people. Because what God is about to do in the nations is very prophetic. And we are his battle axe. We are the tools that God will be using to accomplish all that he'll be doing. Hallelujah. But then, there is a big mountain that we need to conquer. In Africa, in Nigeria, in Zaria, and only God knows where else. Hallelujah. I took out time to study the history of Nigeria and a bit about Africa. I'm not a historian. And I got to find out that as a result of the colonial rule, hallelujah, a spirit and a mindset was put upon the black race. Are you listening to me? And that mindset is a curse. A mindset that teaches men that all about your life is servitude. Are you listening to me? When, although Nigerians gained their independence, they were not free until today. We are still not free. And if we must rise up, listen to me, to that prophetic destiny that God has designed for us, then we must come out of certain mindsets. Tonight's message will wrestle a lot of mindsets and kick them out of your life. Hallelujah. I began to find out in my life that a man can never rise above and beyond his mindset. I know many of you have heard it, but write it. You can never rise beyond your mindset, your plane of perception. Did you know the limitation in Africa today is not the natural resources in this country or in this continent? Africa is the richest continent in the whole world. Hallelujah. Nigeria is a very prophetic nation. Yet, there's still death, corruption, poverty, mindsets. Hallelujah. And this mindset has eaten into the educational system of this country. Hallelujah. Such that when someone writes jam, as soon as they give him admission, the next thing he's eyeing one position. Just I in one office. Oh Lord, let me be a clerk. Let me be a secretary. No productivity, no advancement, no thinking out of the box. We have become managers of the realm that we found ourselves. No breaking status quo to do anything. Hallelujah. Some of you, your parents have told you, just follow it. Don't try to do anything new. Hallelujah. The Bible lets us know that 12 spies were sent to go and look at the land of Canaan. And the Bible says they all came back happy. They gave Moses and Aaron the report. They said it was wonderful. I mean, the land is truly flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. And then 10 of them says, but nevertheless, in other words, taste the fruit. Delicious, really nice. However, we saw certain kinds of people that are half humans and half something else. Six fingers, six toes. Terrible people. To the extent that our mind interpreted us as grasshoppers before them. Hallelujah. Said the Jebusites, the Hittites, the Anakites dwelt in that land. And while they were speaking, a man called Caleb was just listening. And he allowed them to finish speaking nonsense. And then he says, well, this is my own report. Let us go up at once. In other words, look, we are more than ready. He said we can take these people. Forget about their height. There are two animals that Jesus associates himself with in the Bible. Number one is the lion. Number two is the eagle. And this bird and this animal, they are the king of their kingdom. Hallelujah. And this is not because, for instance, the lion. The lion is not the strongest. The lion is not the wisest. Hallelujah. The lion is not the biggest. But there is an attitude. There is a mindset. The lion has a resolve and a determination. 
and he made him to become the king of the jungle. Follow me tonight. The eagle is such a robust creature, such a robust bird that history tells us that the eagle does not fly. It doesn't flap its wing. It soars. It will rise to a high altitude and stand and for a long time try to gauge the current of the wind. While other birds are just flying and hoping that the wind goes their direction, the eagle will stand. Such powerful vision that from a high mountain top, the eagle can look at a lamb and come with accuracy and precision and pick it up. Hallelujah. Strong animal. Many qualities about these creatures. For instance, the lion will never eat any meat it did not kill. If you give it dead meat, no, it will kill by itself. Understands the power of conquest and honor. And Jesus calls himself the lion. Of those many animals in Judah, he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. And the eagle. To the extent that God loves these creatures that he designed creatures after this likeness and put them before his throne. The lion, the cow, the face of a man and the face of a flying eagle. The first thing I want to let you know is that mindsets are a sum total of number one, your environment. Your environment, right? Your mindset is a sum total of your environment. Number two, your experiences. Your environment cultures your mindset. Those of us outside, are we following? Say amen. Hallelujah. Your environment, your experiences. Number three, your cultural background. Cultural background. cultural background. Number four, your level of orientation and exposure. Hallelujah. Praise God. These are mind builders. So look up. Every one of us, when we get born again, we come into Christ with heterogeneous mindsets that are a derivative of many factors. Are you listening to me? I've always given this an as an example. Someone who grew up in Port Harcourt or Wari or Lagos has a different mindset and an ideology from someone who grew up in Zaria. Is that correct? In Zaria here, a bus can stop and reverse just because of one person. And can delay and wait. But down south, there's no time for that. You have to find a way of maneuvering yourself to jump out if you're interested in highlighting at that point. Because the people are serious and they are ready to move forward. There are certain mindsets. Hallelujah. In the north, for instance, I mean, you don't need to bow down or bend or do anything. Just maintain some level of courtesy and speak softly and you greet someone and that's okay. But in the south, you, that's not enough. Hallelujah. No matter how tall you are, you must bend down and greet. These are mindsets. Now, and it so happened that a majority of the factors that shaped our mindsets did not come from the word of God. Hallelujah. Please follow me. This is very important. And so, as many as our heads are, just imagine that there are no bodies in this auditorium. Plenty heads. A summation of various mindsets. Hallelujah. Various mindsets. You have arrived at certain conclusions about life based on certain things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you come into Christ and you get born again, immediately, the Holy Ghost begins his work of transformation. And that transformation is not just changing you as it were. 
physically, but he begins to work on your mindset. He begins to scrutinize and edit your mindset thoroughly. And let me tell you something, this does not happen overnight. Are you listening to me? Because you have come to gain security and confidence over certain mindsets. For instance, there are certain people who never believe that they can make it in life on their own. There must be an external help somewhere. I don't mean godly help. You get what I'm saying. They can never. There are students that even if you give them the exam question before the exam, they will still fail. The only thing is that let me copy it and answer it in a sheet and then enter with it. Mindset. That's how they, they, they went from primary one to JS1. During Waek, that was what happened. That's how they wrote jam. It has become a mindset. So when you say you are victorious, you say, of course, with my paper on my hand and my ability to be crafty and cunning, I know I will make it in this life. Hallelujah. There are other people who believe that the way to treat people is an eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. What else for what again? Leg for leg, anything. Do me as I do you. Don't say that other part because it's very ungodly. Hallelujah. And so we have all kinds of, we, we have guys who come from cultures where a lady cannot talk looking at the guy in the eye. Correct? She will bow down or do whatever. Now you come into a new environment and you carry your village with you. And you're moving everywhere, hoping that everyone is that atmosphere. Mindsets. So now you are in a class, for instance, or you are in koinonia like this, and they say, Give your neighbor a high five. And you are wondering, there are contemplations in your heart. What kind of disrespectful environment is this? Mindsets. Let me tell you, as you see people move, they are carrying several things with them. They may be quiet. You may put with one on it. You may bab it only. They are mindsets. Mindsets. There are certain people who have never seen a miracle in their life. Never seen one. And so the day they see anything, I watch the faces of people during miracle service. And I see the shock that happens. When you lift your hands and someone falls by your side, you're just mindsets. Every time the word of God comes, you know what it does? It's like an arrow. And it hits different mindsets. So mindsets say, lie, lie, I don't agree. It begins to challenge your mindset. And it's like a wall. Stronghold. Listen, demons take advantage of these mindsets and they access certain lives. There are many families today who believe that they believe in what I call traditional Christianity. You, you get my point? We love God. We we'll go to church on Sunday. However, we won't go and visit the man, but there are certain things we can take along with us. When the going gets tough, it's the tough that gets going. And so we use that mantle. Where is the God of our herbalist? And you use it to part the Red Sea. And so there are mindsets. Mindsets. There are many fathers today, for instance. The day the wife calls him darling, he looks and says, Ah, what is my wife watching? That's supposed to be a lovely compliment. But the man will be offended for maybe months. I say, What kind of disrespect is this? Hallelujah. Or a small child just say, Mommy, I need to tell you something. Say you didn't even add my mindsets. There are guys who will never greet a lady, for instance, and say, You must be the one to greet me. That's how it is in our village. So they are carrying it again. Atmosphere, mindset. Although you are born again, now follow me. You are born again, you are filled with the Holy Ghost. But you carry it with you. And when God wants to step in and do something in your life, those mindsets stand as strongholds. Are you listening to me? And so God must break those mindsets and they give way. There are some of you who never believe that you can help anybody. 
there's one very dangerous Hausa statement. What did Aleba Aleba Kumusamu? Don't ever find yourself confessing that statement. It's a curse on yourself. Hallelujah. There are people who believe, listen to me, there are people who believe that they can never be blessed to be a blessing to others. Hallelujah. There are other people who believe, I'm telling you, maybe some of you are even here. There are some people who believe God can never hear them directly. They say, pray for us. You think they are joking, but they mean it. I want to ask you a question tonight. What mindset did you come here with tonight? Because God is about to work on certain mindsets. Dangerous and terrible mindsets. There are people who believe, for instance, you can get born again, get into a relationship, sleep around. So long as you are going to marry the lady, guaranteed. It's a mindset. So when the word of God is coming about purity and holiness, that mindset says, forget it. Who is not doing it? There are mindsets that believe that if you want honor, be a pastor. Correct? And sadly, there are many ministries. That's what they call spiritual development. So the day you get born again, your ambition, your goal, your plan is to come to a point where you become a pastor. So all the brothers want to be pastors. And if you are not a pastor, you are a failure based on the mindset that has been created. So everybody's moving around. I'm a pastor. I'm this, I'm that. There are certain people, listen, who because of the challenges that they went through, they, you drank gari using your hand. Eh? You mix the sugar with your hand and drank it. So that anger is still in you. And you are looking for the people to vent that anger on. So the day they make you a leader, you try to make sure you prove to everybody you are not as naive as before again. Why did you bring fork for me to eat this food? Why did you do this? As if you were not using your hands before. Mindsets. And we, are you getting blessed tonight? And we use these things to define our behavior with other people. There are other people who believe that once you are simple with certain people, they disrespect you. So the moment they see anybody, they square up their shoulder. Say, please bring me my blackberry. Say, no, the other one, I mean the bold, bold what? Not the other one. Or let me even use the galaxy tab. I think that one will be faster. What is, who cares? Now, you think the people are being impressed. And someone else with his mindset is being surprised. He's saying, you mean this is the definition of fulfillment in this man's world. Hallelujah. So the guy is coming close to a lady and he's flipping his phone. And in his world, he has people like him. He has found them around. So they have become groups. There are mindsets. So who is wearing which watch? Who is wearing this? And that's all his pursuit. That's what drives him. You are sitting at the back, but you believe based on your mindset that everybody is seeing you. Mindsets can be terrible. Let me tell you. Mindsets. Hallelujah. There are guys that come with mindsets. They believe. No lady can tell me no. I ask any lady I want at any time. I don't hear no. I am this. I am chief this. I am chief that. Devilish, satanic strongholds of the mind. Are you following me now? There are mindsets. There are certain people who have been taught money doesn't grow on trees. All these tithes, they are deceiving you. All these giving you better keep your money. They can have one million naira. You, you have 10,000. If you give them 100 naira, they'll collect and add it. Mindsets. And there are all kinds of books to help and massage that mindset and keep you in it. Hallelujah. Do you realize that every one of us in this place, including myself, have mindsets that have built up themselves as strongholds. Are you listening to me? And except these mindsets are conquered, some of us will never rise beyond our present level. Hallelujah. There are certain people, they go to school, 
They do everything. But their mindset still takes them. I was listening to one man. He said, he's gone abroad. He did this, but he likes his local dish. It's his best food. I say it's a lie. It's a lie. You went abroad. What did you eat? Where did you go? I, I brought this. It's like saying I studied science. Where did you go? Which restaurant? He said he came back and he found out that all those things are junks. Not everything is junk. Oh. Let me tell you the truth. Just tell us based on your level of financial resources and the exposure that was available at that time. You went to a place that did not create the best of pictures. But don't. Because there are certain people living in a higher realm of life. And you see, the thing about mindsets is this. Listen. There are two factors or forces that can help you get out of mindset. Number one, the word of God. Or number two, premature exposure. The danger is that if it's not the word of God that begins to reorient your mind, you're going to become a disaster. Because when you suddenly realize, let me give you an example. Someone who always just enters express. Express! Just stop. He carries you to wherever you are going. And then one day someone gives you a lift. You've always known you are fine. It's just that you didn't know the extent. And then someone just stopped you. In his BMW X5. I've been talking about that car. Hallelujah. For me or you? You are a student here. You better read your book. You have exams next week. Hallelujah. Now you enter the car. Ah! Suddenly you begin to find out that you mean there is a higher realm of life than what I have known. Hallelujah. You sit down, the seat adjusts itself on you. How? Your mind. Something is happening at that point. When you drop from that car, what happens? It leaves you with a memory. The memory displaces something in your car. Your roommate that used to say hi, you now say, ah, don't, things are changing. Orientation. Are you listening to me? Or they now make you a leader, whether a leader of your fellowship or something. And suddenly for the first time, they held your Bible. You've never known how it feels. You've only imagined it. Ah! And you wanted to behave yourself, but later on you couldn't hide it. You laughed and you smiled. And then everybody wants to leave the old for new. If you taste of the new and it's better, you will dump the old quickly. When I was in Port Harcourt, there was a preacher. The church I attended there, Fulfilling World Ministries. And the man of God traveled abroad to UK for the first time. They gave him 3,000 pounds as honorarium. When he came back, pastor, he said, I saw a level of life that is better than the way you wicked members in this church have been subject. No, really. And he, in anger, he said, so I am this valuable. And you people have been playing with me. You go and see the way other people. Have you seen people like that? Say from today. From today. And called for certain partners that will be sowing into his life every week. To the end of that year. It was as, and they did something wrong in the church and he left. He was going. The members had to run and bring him. I sat down there and I said, you see? You see why God doesn't answer some prayers? You see why God doesn't answer? Oh God! Oh God! Take me, even if it's Ghana, take me out of this country. And God says, the way you are, if your leg matches the international airport, you, you will come back, you will not hear God again or anybody. There are people like that too. They give you 5,000 naira home and abroad. That's all you have. You just have to depend on God and use it well. One day you went to your friend's house and the father gave you 100,000. Ah! You did everything you did in your small world and there was still change. You didn't even know what to do with it again. From that time, the day you see your father counting 5,000, you are just tapping your hand and say, if you won't give me, I know how to get it. Now I'm smart. This is what leads people into prostitution. They tested something that looked better than the old life, but it was not a derivative of the word of God. And so there's that craving. If I can just sleep with this orgasa and 200,000 is my own, 
It's not like it's for us to share my own. Who will know? And they start. Before you know it, they are changing mindsets. And so, our goal in this place, because there are many of you, the way you are receiving the word of God, your mindsets are saying no. It's just your head that is saying yes. When you are saying yeah, yeah, your mind is saying you are joking. I'm not giving way. I will preserve this mindset. There are some of you who will see someone, maybe your friend, going to go and sleep with one man, traveling, even during this exam now, going to go and collect the money for exam. And you say, well, the way I am, you know it's not good to disturb people. Who told you? This, this issue of it's not good, they used to say this should not be done. Start scrutinizing the foundation of your mindset. Where did it come from? Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? See those mindsets responding in anger. I'm seeing all of them. The mindsets just coming from east, west, north, middle belt, all of them just rising. We will crumble them tonight in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, Psalm 78, from verse 10 down to 17. And when you read further, the Bible says that the nation of Israel haven't gone through 430 years of captivity. The children were born in slavery, born in servitude. Hallelujah. The Bible says when they went to the wilderness, they limited God by saying, can God make a way in the wilderness? Do you know, there are some of our parents today who do not ever believe that they can buy a new car. I mean brand new, I'm not talking of Belgium brand new, that you are the one who removes the rubber. When you say that, they just laugh. This stupid boy, you are still young. Grow up and you understand. What is all that? And there are many of us, from the time you were earning 5,000, now God has helped you. You are earning 250,000 to buy a new shirt. The day you buy, you will cry. Because it looks like you lost a baby. Mindsets. You are in the boutique, you are just frowning. You come back, what happened? I bought a new shirt. This is something that is supposed to be a blessing. But that mindset of suffering, you are used to it. To the extent that when God wants to give you a new opportunity, say, no, God, is okay. I, I need to. You go to a restaurant, you, 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 someone is paying the bill. You are already embarrassing yourself. How much is everything? What is your business? Say the person took you. These are mindsets that disgrace us in public places. You are well dressed. You kept quiet. Nobody knew. When they said something, you just say, How, are you the one paying for it? Or some of you, because you have never been there, when you get there, you will do crazy things. They say, okay, pick this. Hey, let me take it now. Because I don't know where. Give me this. Uh, puff puff ice cream. Give me this. This cake. Is it for birthday or just normal days? Bring it. You reveal your mindset when opportunities give room. That's why many people limit themselves. Some people go for a job interview. As soon as you enter, you don't greet anybody. You just go to the seat and sit down. You say, I got first class. They just tell you, get up and walk out of this place. They will never give you that job. Doesn't matter who prayed for you. Bad manners, you just step in and enter and just sit down. And you're looking at everybody. Say, how are you? You say, hi. Hi. You are looking for a job? You think that's how the people got that job? They ask you a question. See, let me tell you. God will help us this night. Oh. Say amen. amen. You entered the job this in. You saw that it was your uncle. They say, ah, uncle. Yeah. God help you. They are doing an interview for you. Mindsets. Mindsets. See, this is why some people never step into some levels of grace and lifting and power they never become leaders they remain servants forever that's the mindset in africa you see nigerians on cnn or bbc 
and see what many of them do. Hallelujah. We spend money and pay their flight. They take from the national treasury. And you, when it's time for them to speak, look at the ambassadors of many countries articulating themselves very well. When it gets to the point of Nigeria, they take personal issues that is not the business of the world and start venting. Listen to them on radio everywhere. Mindsets. Preachers, mindsets. They name their sermons after their annoyance. I am coming back this time around for you. What is that? You just know that he's fighting with someone. It's not the oil, but the hand that holds the oil that matters. Let me tell you something. A mindset can limit you. You can never rise above and beyond the level of your mindset. Make sure as you are laughing, you are taking it seriously. Hallelujah. When God began to open my mind about my mindset, I found out that if I don't change my mindset, my life will never change. And I began a radical project to change my mind. Because as innocent and loving as my parents were, some of their mindsets were not consistent with God's word. Are you listening to me? And I knew that I have to change it. There are many of you who are waiting right now for your father or mother to die. You have been eyeing the house. You see people fighting. They are fighting over their grandfather's land. They should be ashamed of themselves. They say when he left it, was this not where he put the mark? From that time till now, you've not been productive to rise up and do everything. You are even gathering your children and say, when you see uncle so, 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 hate him for the rest of your life because that land is our own what did i say the children is our own they stand up with that mindset they go around to school say it's our land you see why i sang that song what's the song again i can go back to the way what is the it? What is the it? The mindset. It used to be terrible. So you are, you are making a vow that I won't go back. I've seen a higher light. I've seen a better life. That you can be prosperous and make heaven. That you can be a millionaire and make heaven. That you can walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and still be prosperous. That you can shake your generation and bless people. That from that you can write the books that are in your heart. I study a lot about great people. Have a lot of their documentaries. Hallelujah. And I'm touched at how they spoke to themselves. Talk about the man Nelson Mandela. Great man. Had a dream in his heart and he said he was going to change the course of South Africa. And 20 years in prison did not stop him. Right now, even on their currencies, his face that is there. Almost every note, I think every note. Now, many people clap and we use him as a case study. He changed his mindset. Jesus was born in Nazareth. And the Bible says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Jesus said, no. My vision is beyond this place. I refuse to be confined. Do you know that many of you seated here, if you will tap one third of the grace that God has put in your life, your generation will not recover from what you have. But you've been hearing all kinds of voices that have been speaking to you. Every time you look at Oprah Winfrey, you just imagine yourself, but now with the perspective of the kingdom, and your mindset just punishes you and said, you better hibernate. I think you need some rest. You think people just grow and become TV hosts? Hallelujah. Do you know how bad a mindset is? A mindset can be so bad to the extent that if someone comments you, you can think is the person is intimidating you or the person is insulting you. They just say, ah, you speak very well. Though. You go back and ask 10 people and say, if somebody is angry with you, how should the person respond? Mindsets. 
Many of us have had different mindsets. When our parents are angry, they have names, they call us. Stupid boy, say, sir. So you have grown with that mindset. And now every time you want to move forward, that thing replaces. See, you can change the future, but you cannot change history. The mind has a memory bank. It keeps records of all the days when you could not do certain things. And when God begins to speak to you and say, look, I can take you to a higher place. Do you believe it? One of the greatest gifts a man can have is self-confidence. I don't mean arrogance. Self-confidence. Some of you have refused to learn how to drive till today, till tomorrow. Not because a car is not available. You believe the day you get in the road, you are going to kill somebody. And yet you see these, these outside boys, small boy of 9 years, 10 years, you know when they park the car in PZ, the masters will be resting. The boys are so confident. They don't ever imagine accident. That's how they learn. No, no driver's license, no nothing. Confidence. Many of you lose confidence. You have a presentation. You, you are the best student. You have the best work, but you are fidgeting. Come and lead prayer. You who prays very well. Now you are praying and oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, you find yourself saying things you shouldn't say. You didn't even know you have ended the prayer because of pressure, all kinds of things. But when the Holy Spirit begins to work on you, listen to me. The first thing is he exposes the flaw in your mindset. The greatest deceit that can happen to any man in the earth is to believe your mindset is okay the way it is. Every time I interact with God's word, I look at myself. Sometimes I just look at myself at the mirror. I say, Joshua, change for God's sake. And then I slap my head and I laugh back again. But I'm just, these are just efforts to say you need change. I read some of them, his book, Multiply Your Success, Lead. Powerful leadership book. There are many of you that what you are seeing he and I and all of these things. God is already, every time you sit here, God is telling you, do 10 times more than what you are seeing. You say, God, me? When will you stop that mindset of inferiority and complex? Are you listening to me? That mindset of unworthiness and false humility and embrace what God has said about you. There are ladies in this place. You believe that if you get married, it's a miracle. In fact, the wedding should be called Thanksgiving, not, not wedding solemnization. You just have some nasty, negative things about yourself. The other ladies, their hands are soft and tush, but our hands, the testimony of hard work. Mindsets. Mindsets. Hallelujah. Mindsets. There are some of us, the first day they give you fork and spoon and knife, you sit down and be laughing at yourself for a long time. It's not like you cannot use it. Is it excitement or pressure? You are just, you don't even know what to do. Say, I deserve a good life. Say it. Africa. This is the gift Africa gave us. We grew up and met mindsets. That will never tell us we can arise. Never. The day you took first, you went to your father and said, Daddy, I took first. He said, eh, What did you work for? What did I pay your school fees for? Give me a chance, Jerry, as the mechanic come. And you are wondering. You are saying somebody who took 10th position, they caught chicken for the person, your neighbor. And you took first. And they trivialize it. And you say, Okay, according to my mindset, first is the same as 14th position. The next, next time, you get 20th position. And your father says, I always knew. He said, it doesn't make any difference. Some of us grew up with that mindset. And so, excellence lives your life permanently. You don't value it. You don't respect it. Get up and throw clothes on your, on your bed and leave it there. Say, sure, I'm going to marry one day. Mindsets. So, two couples get married. Are you, let me use somebody. Come, my dear. 
Are you ready to accept this lady as your lovely wife? You didn't even listen. You just nodded. Yes. You and God. Yes. Two of you go to the house. Clash of heterogeneous mindsets. Coming from several places. In our world, my father treats me like a queen. The other guy in their world, I'm the king. Clash of values. When I'm pregnant, will you cook for me? Am I crazy? Will I cook for you? Men don't go to our kitchen in our, in our culture. Mindsets. You see why it's good to stay with the word of God? He said, do not be conformed to this age, but be what? Transformed. What does a transformer do? Say it. What does a transformer do? Changes things. God bless you, my dear. Mindsets. Because the way many of us are going, our mindset will lead to a fatal accident in life. You are praying in tongues. You are moving. But your mindset is taking you back. Your mindset is taking To the extent, do you know that, well, you can ask Jake's and Bishop. By God's grace, we have prayed for thousands of people in tongues and have found out that 90% of people who have challenges receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit at that spot are people who were challenged with their mindsets. When they begin to speak, they turn aside and they are looking. They feel like I'm such a villager. I cannot even articulate myself. Now you are saying I should be filled with the Holy Spirit. Did I really receive it? Or the one I received came from somewhere. They say, turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you have a great destiny. Immediately you turn, you just see your village. You don't see another neighbor. And you remember. What about the farm? What about the tractor there? What about this? And God is telling you, you will rise from that level. Some of us, where we come from, maybe it's even a hut that you are staying, a real hut. So what? Say after me, so what? So you get angry. Your dad is a carpenter. You just see one guy pass, you say, that's my, my father's younger brother. All these people, they tell them, work hard, they will work hard. Have you seen people like that? Denying their father and mother. Their mother sells Akara. And they come, they say, who is that? They say, well, they say mommy, mommy. They mention one name. They say, it's just the name we call her. That's the express revelation of complex. You need a retreat. Quick. Quick. Whatever you are doing, stop and go for a retreat. We are not proud of ourselves. See, this is what makes a lot of guys. They come to meet a lady and they come and they are telling her stories. Say to sin. Um, my father just dropped one G. Who asked you? Who asked you? Say, and the other day, said, I was even wondering, uh, you care for anything? He doesn't have money. Pressure. Pressure. He begged for someone's phone and told the guy to call him when he's with this lady. See, I deliver you from that mindset in this place in Jesus' name. There are many ladies who cannot go and see their boyfriend or whatever. They say, please give me this phone. Please give me your shoe. Please. Work with what you have. Covetousness, a product of mindsets. You can't see anything good and leave it quietly. Hallelujah. Mindsets. Do not be conformed to this age. There are many of us who have adopted wrong mindsets of success right now. You're already imagining. If I become like Pastor Jakes, my own Zue Rao will not sit at the back. She'll be standing, holding the water. When I want to drink, I'll just shift my mouth like this and she'll put. That's your mindset. And as crazy as what I'm saying is, there are people today who are doing it. They do it with honor and dignity. There are pastors today that if their members see them anywhere, they will kneel down and have to greet them. And then he stands. You are embarrassing yourself because that's a mind. By the time you rise to a higher level, you see. You want to write a book. You say you want it to be a bestseller. You go and meet somebody in community market and say, can you produce this book for me? Is it going to be a bestseller that way? You are used to photocopying handouts, small books. God is saying, write something that will take nations. Are you getting blessed tonight? We are going to pray. 
See, the point of my message tonight is to reveal to you that your mindset has been keeping you where you are. As a ministry, we are where we are today because of our mindset. If we rise higher, we will move higher. Hallelujah. You see a lot of people, 10 years, 20 years, 5 members, 10 members, they keep giving all kinds of flimsy excuses. Good preachers, but bad leaders. They won't read about leadership. They won't read about all of these things. They won't increase. They won't go anywhere. You will remain at the level you are until light comes to pick you out of there. He said, arise and shine. Why? For your light, new knowledge. I promise you, you will remain at any level you are in life until light. If you are ready to disengage your former mindset and pick up something new, you can rise from that level. Hallelujah. God is telling you, you can be a TV host. And you sit down and say, I can't speak English. How many months does it take to learn sound English? I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence. The way you grew up, you cannot remain like that. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence. Every time I look at myself, I see a great leader. I see a visionary leader. I have such a healthy perspective of my life. I admire people, but not enough to intimidate myself. Because I have stayed long enough in the secret place to know the things that he has put in me. And I know they will open any door. Many of you are trying to be like people who will one day admire you in the future. Did you know that I, I, I wanted to be like many people who want to be like me today? Because I did not know what I carried. And so we have all kinds of models on TV. Rihanna, who again? And you look at them. And you smile. You imagine yourself in their place. Wrong models. And you begin to follow their own path. And you end up in destruction. I told myself, I will not die the way I was born. I was born quietly. Only my mother and a few visitors. I wouldn't die that way. Jesus was born in a manger. When he was going back to heaven, there was a crowd celebrating him. Let me tell you something. You can choose to rise beyond your level. There are many of us, ABU has limited you. Carryover has limited you. Your class of degree has limited you. You think you may never rise beyond that level. You must believe in yourself. Listen to me. I'm speaking to you right now. You must believe in yourself. Believe that you can become anything. The only limitation in my life is the voice of the Holy Spirit. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing I cannot become. Nothing. 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 I remember when we were going to have our crusade in 2006. We are organizing it. You are going to a local government. Young, just smiling. All we had was faith. But we knew we were going to do it. They limited God. Many of you have limited God. Every time you look at the frustration of your family members, God tells you you are the Savior. You will arise. But every time God speaks it, another voice, another voice starts speaking to you. And many of us have yielded to those voices. Oh, I believe in myself. I have a great life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The best that God has for me is my heritage in Christ. I believe I will write books that will shake this generation. Yeah, I believe it. Listen, we said this thing, sir, right from those days. We'll pray and say we know it, that God will do. 
That's why I tell some of you, make faith proclamations. Whenever you say I'm great, you just look. You say I even trekked from campus to come. So what? So what? There is nothing you are going through today that somebody did not go through and conquered it. Some of you have not eaten anything. You came for koinonia hungry. It's not because restaurants closed today. It's because you didn't have money. Let me tell you something. That is not enough to give you a mindset that you're a failure. Every time you go to your mother or your father, they call you and say, my son, my daughter. It's not like I don't love you. You know if I had more, I would have given. If I were you, I would go back and say, Lord, take me out of this mindset. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Make me a world changer. And let my parents have a foretaste. The man called Pan and Pasi Paul was living in my auntie's boys' quarters. Used to stay in my auntie's boys' quarters. When he started this kind of music, they kicked him out of many churches in Joss. But today, when you enter his office, you see awards that you cannot imagine. Hallelujah. So, the first point tonight is refuse to remain where you are. This is why we teach the things we are teaching. You must know that you are a leader. You won't be a follower forever. Say, I will not be a follower forever. Say it. You cannot remain a follower forever. You cannot remain in a rented house forever. You grew up there. You saw them humiliating your father and your mother. You are not doing anything about it. God is speaking to you tonight. He said, I'm a lady, but nobody has come to marry me. That's a mindset that needs to leave you. Because you believe that your life is tied around a man. Hallelujah. There are many guys here. You are just waiting to graduate. Some of you got your service this today. You are happy. Not because they give awards in service place. But because of how much is the Alawi? 18.5. And you are smiling. In your world... That's prosperity. See, I never had it that good. Leave me, let me enjoy it. Your lecturer looks at you and says, I brought your test and I look. You are a dull student. I've always known. Pretty lady, dull head. And you carry that mindset. You define yourself. I refuse any report that is not the word of God. Whatever my father did not have, I will give it to them. Whatever my mother did not have, I will give it to them. I told my mother this. I told her, you relax. Since I'm already alive, I'm walking. You just get ready to smile. Every day of your life. The remaining part of your life will be years of laughter. John the Baptist was called a son of consolation. Many of you, the way you are going... You see someone, 35 years, your parents are still helping you. 35 years. Pop season here and someone have you are 35 years. No pressure. Will you marry? I'll think about it. What are you doing in your life? That lad, nobody should leave me alone. I'm not a small child. And every time they put small food, say, I'm not a small child. So you know. Pack out. out of your father's house no sense of responsibility you are not paying any bills you are not doing anything the little money you get you go and play football you come back in the evening throw your boots everywhere what kind of life is this and you went to school you read you graduated but your mindset has betrayed you and everything people just say is somebody in your village calm down before you finish calling the names of innocent people in your village, find out how. See, there are many ministries claiming blessings. Oh, we are working in millions. Ask them, do you have an account? Do you have an account? They say no. Whose account will you use? Say, well, uh, when it comes, we will be able to arrange ourselves. Let me tell you something. It will end in those loud noise in the mic. You are not. Pre the Bible says, go and borrow vessels. If you truly believe that new oil is coming, borrow vessels. It didn't say borrow oil. It said borrow vessels. 
Hallelujah. Three ways to transform your mind. Right quickly, number one. Ah, the Lord is challenging people tonight. Right. Number one. Generally speaking, all right, this is just, generally speaking, you need a new orientation whenever you find out that you have a faulty mindset. The Bible says you cannot put new wine in what? An old wine skin. You need both a new wine and a new wine skin. You want to transform your mind, number one. Realize that your present mindset is not its best. Realize it. Come to terms with it. I don't care if your father is a billionaire. It's your father's money. It's not your money. I don't care if you're a five-pointer. Or you're a one-pointer. I don't care if you are working in a bank or you are working in an oil company. Listen to me. There is more in your life. You cannot remain this way. I've always known that there's more in my life. Some of you are here and all that is in your world is you are local champions here in Zaria. The best student in your class. And you think that's how the world will treat you everywhere. You step out and find out a rude shock. When I was in secondary school, we used to win every debate we go to. We didn't know that it was just that our standard was low. I was saying we are very smart people. One day we tried one school. I won't mention the name. Ah! We tried one school. What they did for us that day. I was one of the speakers. We embarrassed ourselves that day. Hated our school that day. Hated the principal and everybody. I just looked at them. I wished I wasn't in that school. Because we we're local champions in our little local government where we were. Hallelujah. The first day I tried jam mathematics. After five hours, I got four. Only four. I said, this is serious. Serious. I was the best student in my class. I said, this is serious. A mindset kept me believing that I'm a superstar. Now, Jam brought their question. I didn't do for damas. So I knew that this is not child's play. Immediately, I recognized the need. Hallelujah. I started organizing lessons for my classmates. A rescue mission. Quick. Because I told them, look, let me tell you, we'll write Waek and be short. Because of that, I started challenging myself. I tried GC. I did very well. And when I looked, I said, there's got to be more. I was a laboratory prefect. I won't go out. Oh. I locked myself in the lab there. Because I didn't know more. So I thought all that there was was intellect. But I sat down there. The other best student. In my school then, the smartest student got lab and library, not head boy. Head boy was for talkative. If you were smart and they wanted it to have a good result, you become the library prefect or the lab prefect. So that you can sit there in one place. I made up my mind not to be small. I started reading further maths on my own. 60% of my chemistry, I learned it by myself. See, I didn't do the kind of your school. In our old school, we were the ones building the school as students. When you misbehave, you just go and change. Oh yeah! Change and go and serve job. Some of you were, you went to schools where you already laptop. Did we ever have a laptop? We had to borrow Whitstone Bridge for work. Yet I, I told myself, I said, this will not define my life. I'm going far. Are you listening to me? Many of you have kept yourself in positions giving flimsy excuses. I told myself, one day my world will celebrate me. Hmm. Number one, Go for knowledge. Buy the truth. Please write. Buy the truth. 
Read books that will mold your character. Read books that will teach you leadership. Read books on fatherhood. Read books on ministry. This is why we are putting together a school of ministry. The school of ministry is not for pastors. The school of ministry is to raise ambassadors in all spheres. Hallelujah. Raise ambassadors. Go for knowledge. Look at me. Many of you have, some of you, apart from your grammar, English grammar that you read, you've never sat down to read any book and finish it. You look at a book, 5,000 naira is over my dead body. 5,000. Abba, what will 5,000 do? I can buy beans. I can buy one tier of, of, of gari and mix all these things. That's why it's only, my mother will say, it's only your stomach that will be coming out. Your destiny will remain where it is. Because that's the only thing you are feeding. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Some of you, God has told you you'll be a leader over many. What books have you read about leadership? You don't know anything about leadership. So you are doing traditional leadership in your faculty. Because that's all you know. That's what you saw the king, <laughs> the king of your village do. Now you have become a president. And you, are, you just imagine the members of the cabinet. Those people that are carrying Koboko and follow king. And you begin to treat them. Because that's what you know. When life puts pressure on you, you reveal your mindset. Many of you lack character. You lack communication skills. You wake up in the morning, you cannot greet your roommates. To say good morning, say, am I a child? They gave birth to me 5th of October, 1975. You, they gave birth to you 6th of October. Am I not older? You see, mindset. Mindset. You eat food and ask the person, carry the plate. Mindset. What? When, when has it given anybody food? And you are bold to say it. When people come and say, this is my younger brother. Must you tell us? Are we blind? Forget the fact that he's bigger than me. He's my young. Calm down. Mindset. You'll never be a leader with this mindset. You may be a good tongue talker. You may be a good miracle worker. But you cannot take your world this way. Because the world you are going to take are not born again. It takes more than just praying in tongues to take your world. Are you listening to me? There must be a level. I was reading an article by Jimo Ibrahim. He just celebrated his 46th birthday and I was so touched. I was just reading about his history, Jimo Ibrahim. Some of you don't even know who is, who is Jimo Ibrahim. You are in Nigeria here. The only thing you know is, is what's, which is the latest soup opera now. They don't do it again. Paloma, second chance. That's all you know. That's why you are behaving like what you have been watching. But tonight I'm challenging you. Say after me, I go for knowledge. Because see, when you begin to, the Bible says, look for. It says, Jesus took the book and he saw where it was written by prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He found in the volume of the books where it was written. You can find your destiny when you go for knowledge. The first book I began to read when I made up my mind to walk in destiny was discovering your potentials. Dr. Miles Monroe, I will never forget what that book did for me. Understanding your potentials. I didn't even know there was something called potentials. And I said, all right, this is it. This is it. I will begin a journey. Read books on leadership. You are always fighting with your sister at home. It's a sign that you are going to beat up your wife. Get a book on fatherhood quick. Quick! Every small child you see, you say, me, I hate children. Ah, that's a revelation that you need to read some. Go to Sunday school books. CEM. Read something. Read scriptures about Jesus relating with children. Receive that impartation. Some of you are about to write your exams. Once again, the mindset that brought you, I patched three C's, added two more, 
And I came to this school. And now God is telling you this semester you will have the best of results. And you laugh. You say, where are them? Uh, where are them? So, 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 so. As if their success will stop your own. I believe in myself. I know that God can take me anywhere. Do you believe this about yourself? Hallelujah. I will never be small in life. No. Never. I will do great things for the kingdom. This is why I like Christ, Christ's embassy. Oh, they give you a mindset of a champion. They give you a mindset of a warrior. They, they shape a mindset that refuses failure totally. I refuse to be a failure in life. I refuse it. I refuse the limitations of my lineage. Whoever has looked at your family and said, can anything good come? You hold on and see. You are a miracle on your way to happen. Are you listening to me? Everyone. God has given you a music ministry. Every time you look at these great people, who told you you cannot become like one of them? Every man in the earth today was born. He was a baby in the hands of someone. A mindset took him to where he is. They asked Jimo Ibrahim, they said, what is the secret of your blessings? And he said, number one, the grace of God. He said, number two, knowledge. He said, sometimes I look at Nigerians, if they know what I know, they will live where they are instantly. Do you know that's true? The same way you can grow in knowledge and mindset and change different things. Look at what God is doing by the grace of God. The organization, the leaders, and the rest. You think this is guesswork? This is not just prayer. Many of you want great leadership. You want a great business, great company, great this. You have the name, but you've not read any book. If you like, go and register the name. You will remain a broke failure in life. Broke failure until the mindset of God takes you out of that level. The people from my place drink. They drink a lot. I told myself that mindset, I will kick it out of my life. I will never be associated with the evil that comes from my territory. Are you listening to me? There are some of you, your, your clans or villages are associated with different kinds of things. Temper, lust, immorality, demonic practices, irresponsibility. Will you take this as a mindset? And say it happens to everybody. Is it my fault that I was born from so so place? Hallelujah. One day your father looked at you and said, Sorry, I cannot pay your school fees. And you had to fend for yourself. Are you going to allow your children to think like that? Many of you are shallow minded. You're not thinking five years from now. You're not thinking ten years from now. Let me and I'm speaking to the guys most especially. You are just growing old and, and, and growing beard on your face. You are not adding anything to your head per day. I never sleep any day until I add new knowledge to myself. Never. My eyes does not see sleep until I add something. The more you have knowledge, you will be in command in life. Look at Chinese, North Korea. The whole hands, their hands is like from here to here. Short people. But they are ruling the world. Because it's not about their size. It's about their intellectual capacity. Many of you need to begin to buy books. Is Oga Jordan around? He didn't come. Oga Jordan. Where is he? He's outside. Jordan bookstore is there. See, it's better for you to buy one trouser, 250, 250 naira on the floor. They may laugh at you, but not for long. I assure you, it won't be for long. Show me a man who will pay the price to change his mindset. You are in partnership with God for a victorious life. You won't die a failure. It may take a while. Hallelujah. Do you believe this about yourself? When God called me, I believed. I have never sat down to think, Kai, am I too small? I'm, no, I don't think all those kinds of satanic thoughts. Because I found in Philippians chapter 2 verse 8, it said, finally brethren, whatsoever things are pure, 
whatsoever things are true, I can go anywhere, I can do anything. If God tells me to build a 10-story building for Koinonia, off I go. Off I go. You will be saying it won't happen. You will just find out that will give you a letter for the dedication. Confidence. Kabbalah but I know whom I have believed. See, I want you to be confident about your life. If you are not confident about your life, you will need someone else to keep endorsing you. There are many of you that will never be satisfied. You do a nice hair, you know it's nice. You need 10 people to tell you it's nice before you believe. What kind of life is that? Stop trying to prove points and settle down. Go for knowledge. Say, I contend for knowledge. Say it. Yes, you may stay in the house. You fetch water from the stream. You are still doing it right now. Fetch the water from the stream. But carry your Bible and carry the book. Say, Lord, one day, I will have, I will have boreholes and I will build boreholes in my village. Hallelujah. You eat once a week, no problem. In the midst of your pain, just tell yourself, I'm changing my mind, I'm changing my life. I told myself this thing long ago. Hallelujah. I believe in E and I. I believe in where God is taking us. That's why all the things that are happening today, it's not a shock. We are just grateful. Never a shock. Not at all. See, listen. It's not happening because of Joshua Selman. It's happening because of a mindset. I assure you, if you have it, you will rise. Whether you are on jeans or you are, it's about your mindset. Are you listening to me? Some of you, God is speaking to you about bakeries. You have passion for bread, but you are sitting down. You are saying, bakery, I went to school. Sit down there. The day someone who will, pick, see, prophecies are like rain. Whoever brings a container will receive with it and will run. You sit down there and be delaying. You will watch someone run with your vision and accomplish it. I believe that by the grace of God, one day, we will own our television station, debt free. We will stand on air telling anybody, please bring $35 and 5 cents. No. Because God has given us the law of prosperity. It's a matter of time. Gentiles will come from, a day will come, it will be a privilege to partner with us. Oh, it will happen. Do you believe this about your life? I believe a day will come when I will not even be allowed to buy anything with my money. Because people we have changed will be too grateful. Too grateful. They will make my daughter headgear by force. Just as a way of... It's my mind. It's my mind. One day my child will say, Daddy, can I have this in the fridge? I say, go on. I didn't enjoy it. Have it. What will your child say the day he calls you daddy? Will he say, daddy, I have something that I want to discuss with you. Why are we like this? Change your mindset. You have received a wrong mindset. Many of us do not like what we receive from our parents. But you are already becoming what you hate. Because you are not doing anything about your mindset. Exactly what you hate, you are already becoming it. I refuse to remain the way I am. I contend for knowledge. I won't behave like a Nigerian. I'll behave like a citizen of the... What is in it for me? That's the language of Nigerians. Chop, I chop. You can never help somebody and go quietly. What is in it for me? Wrong mindsets we got from Nigeria. Many of you are adopting it. You like it. Someone says, do you have the number of somebody? Yeah, I say, I have. Send me 200 naira recharge card. You would think you are joking, but now you are used to it. But I deliver you from that mindset tonight. Tonight we are going to be praying. So number one, go for knowledge. Number two, consistently speak the word of God. Consistently speak the word of God. 
Speak the word of God. Speak the word of God. The word of God comes with power. The word of God comes with hope. Hallelujah. I was talking with the protocol team yesterday and I was telling them a day will come who will have bosses. Bosses. E-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S. Bosses. That who can give a way to help many people. Look at today, by the grace of God, we are going to Shika tomorrow and Sunday. Hallelujah. And we are not even thinking about the budget. Oh, where well, we do this? The grace of God. We are going to now start becoming a blessing to others. You, if you do not believe, do you know many people will suffer because of your mindset? You can be a blessing to the world. I refuse to be where I am. I will not remain in this state. Next month, I should have left this realm of reality to a higher one. I learned this from Samadhi and me. Oh, I have certain people who have mentored my mind. Some of you sit down there. God is telling you, listen to Samadhi and me. I'm Matua Shimolo to understand success principles. Your pastor is there with his mindset, telling you don't listen to anybody again. He's a broke failure. It's just that he's called. He's sitting there and he's educating you in your little world. And you will not break boundaries and see what God is doing internationally. Was this message preached by my pastor? No, I won't listen to it. And you remain there. Hallelujah. You see an elderly woman speaking wisdom about family life. You won't humble yourself and listen. You say, I'm a pastor in my church. You are fumbling, fumbling in life and you won't calm down and listen. Are you learning something, please? See, you must begin a project and tell yourself you are changing your mindset. I'm changing it. I'm changing it. Hallelujah. When Tosin was the former treasurer, she surprised me. When we just started Koinonia, listen, when we just started Koinonia, these offering bags that we have was a personal donation. We just started and she made at least 400. And she began to tell me, she said, Josh, I think we need to start preparing for a counting machine. Counting machine? She said, because I see increase coming. What's your thought like? Your many parents didn't plan. They put one small house with one garage. They never planned for increase. That's how many of you are thinking. My little life, my house, one room, all the children will stay. Me and my wife will stay. An extra room where we are fighting, she will stay there. That's your mindset. Listen, say after me, I break free. Everybody inside and outside, I break free from the mindset that came from my village that is associated with my lineage. Tonight, I break free in the name of Jesus. I declare that I rise above cultural limitations. I rise above the limitations in Africa. The world will hear my voice. I'm the head and not the tail. I have books to write. I have lives to change. I'm a leader. Yes. That's how you speak. And then you behave like one. You start composing yourself like one. No misbehavior. Iron your shirt. Dress smart. If you are barbing, bab well. Don't bab as if they took light and, and, and you ran out. Be smart. It doesn't matter what you have. Your notebooks that you're like, be smart. When you get up in the morning, dress your bed. Keep your room clean. You are behaving like your, your future. Many of us are still behaving like our past. God gave you a bed. You are still remembering the days of the mat. You don't need to repair mat. You just stand up and leave your bed. Sheet. White bed sheet. It has turned to brown. Visitors come and say, have seats, please. Dirty bed sheet like that. 
You are not going far with that mindset. And some of you are ladies. You won't go far. Forget about all these things. Walk on yourself this night. Hallelujah. You want to be a leader. You cannot sit down. The day 5,000 enters your body, you are, you are shaking. You must see that you must spend everything. You withdraw it and just put it in your pocket. You are not using it, but you are just happy. You are just walking around filled with anxiety. What kind of life is that? See, I'm challenging you. We are going to pray. But God is speaking to someone. Enough is enough. Are you going to continue where your parents stopped? Or you are going to rise? God gave you a job. You are not doing your best now. They ask you why. You say, because I'm collecting 10,000. Bible says, he who is faithful in little. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I break free from mindsets. I want to teach you four things very quickly. Right. I taught it some years ago. To help us conduct ourselves very well and behave like leaders. I want to teach you four very important words. Number one. Please. Write it. P-L-E-A-S-E. Please. Write it quick and look at me please. Because we are going to pray. We are out of time. Look at me. Many of you. This is the singular word that has cheated you from your destiny. You can never say please. Carry this thing and give me. Everybody say after me, please. Did he kill you? Say it again, please. Learn it. This is why many of you were not voting. They, they didn't make you the president in your family. Never become it. Because you cannot be conscious. Let me tell you something. When you tell people, please, it's a sign of value on them. That you respect them, that you honor them. The highest psychological need of any man is to feel valued and to feel important. Please, can you help me? Please, can you do this? Please tell him I may not make it. Please, learn it. This singular word has made people millionaires. And has made others broke and they will continue remaining where they are as failures. Please. Please, I may not be free now. Please, I may not. Hello, hello, hello. Call me, call me. Call me, I don't have credit. Thank you. You are praying in tongues. I assure you, you won't be a leader. If I am the person, I'm, I'm doing interview for your employment, I guarantee you, I will employ you. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You may be attending Koinonia, I will employ you. Guaranteed. Hallelujah. I give me cold water, my chest. This food is hot. Give me cold water. Is it your own? You came to someone's house, they are treated. Please. Everybody say after me, please. Learn to say please. I'm teaching you how to be a leader. Learn to say please. Some of you, you only say it when you are in trouble. Please. Many of you, guys, if only you told the lady please, she would have said yes. You carried your mouth and just came. Tongue talking, but no manners. Grace, but no character. I want to talk to you. I'm saying I want to talk to you. You are going, come now. Is he your younger sister? And then during the relationship program, say, there are some people here. When we tell them to come, they won't come. Why will they come? Why? It takes a lot of humility and it reveals a sense of maturity and courtesy when you tell people please. One more time, say please. Say it, please. Number two, I'm sorry. I'm sorry has made two nations to go for war. One demanded a public apology. The other one said, over my dead body. He says, all right, we'll kill ourselves over our dead bodies. I'm sorry. Listen, when you say I'm sorry, it's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of tremendous strength. 
Many husbands have fought with their wives because they cannot say I'm sorry. Pastors are fighting one another. They cannot say I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Politicians are fighting themselves. They cannot say I'm sorry. You call me a pastor instead of a reverend. Just say I'm sorry. Say, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, why didn't you? I'm sorry. See, sometimes you must not be the one at fault to say I'm sorry. Sometimes you just need to say it and let it be. There is a saying in my language that if because you are holding bone, flies are disturbing your mouth, throw the bone and let the flies go with it. Nice proverb, not dull proverbs that don't have meaning. Very nice proverb. Hallelujah. Everybody say, I'm sorry. I, you didn't do anything but just say it. You are learning. Say, I'm sorry. Now turn to your neighbor and say, I'm sorry. Some of you, it will sting your ego. That's the mindset I want to go out. Say, do it again. I'm sorry. From today, listen. Now that I have access to you, I must teach you and you must learn it by force. Tomorrow, you will not be able to say it. Pastor to members, whatever, I'm sorry. When you hurt people, tell them you are sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes you may do it unconsciously. Whenever you are aware, I'm sorry. Mean it from your heart. Not this kind of wicked, I'm sorry. That is even more painful. It's better to keep quiet. They say two of you apologize, I'm sorry. Is that a pastor? See two couples who call for counseling. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say, darling, I'm, darling, I'm sorry. You know that this, this, this is not, they are not even ready for reconciliation. But the Bible says God has given us what? The ministry of reconciliation. Everybody say after me, I'm sorry. You must learn it. People hurt you every day and you are hurting others as much as they are hurting you. So you must get set with I'm sorry. You will use it many times in your life. Are you learning something this night? Is something changing in your mind? Many of you, after this grace, you just need to call. You are broken. You are suffering because you didn't tell your father, I'm sorry. They would have sent you money since January. You have not received your allowance. Now it's March. Only that day, I'm sorry. I shouted at you that day, I'm sorry. And Monday, you will get an alert. But you are sitting here. You are dying. Your father is enjoying. You are suffering. Please, after this, go and take your phone or break your pride and help yourself. Exam is coming next week. I'm sorry. Number three. Thank you. Thank you. Look up. Look up. Do you know thanksgiving is the principle of multiplicity in the realm of the spirit? Are you listening to me? When you thank someone for what he has done, he will reproduce it. Hallelujah. Thank you. If someone does something good to you 20 times, say thank you 20 times. 20 times. Don't say I said it one. I, I said it one. Huh? 20 times. Thank you. Say after me, thank you. An expression of gratitude. An expression of compliment. See, these are the things that make people to love being around certain atmospheres. Some of you now see the reason why you don't have any friend. You are your only friend. Your environment is, is acidic. It chokes everyone that comes around you. Thank you. Someone buys you a present. Someone says, ah, um, you were supposed to iron your shirt. I just ironed it for you because I thought you'd be praying. You say, uh -huh. That's exactly what you would do to your wife. She just cooks and said, darling, nice meal. He said, mm -hmm. I'm reading newspaper. Thank you does not kill. Thank you. Everybody say after me, thank you. You go for an interview. Please, may I sit? Yes, you sit down. When you finish the interview, you say thank you. You are talking in a meeting, whether business meeting or leadership meeting. They say, all right, you speak. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. This is what I have to say. Ah, people will be looking at you. 
They'll say, now we need a chairman for this board. Before they say anything, they say you are the one. You see the reason why many people pray in tongues? They pour gallons of oil on them, but they remain where they are because their mindsets betray them. You got first class, but you don't have manners. No character, wrong mindset, and you are not walking till today. Hallelujah. Everybody say after me, thank you. You must cultivate it. Tell people thank you. Someone adjust your seat. Someone help you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't say if I speak too much, I'll become cheap. Say mindset. Where did you get it from? Finally, God bless you. Oh, you must learn to bless people. When I taught it four years ago, I added one, I love you. But our society has become so bad. You tell someone I love you, say you mean it. Instead of me to say thank you. Say, ah, why did you say this now? So let's stop at God bless you. <laughs> you say I love you when we're in Koinonia here. Well, you go and tell your classmate tomorrow. First you say, my God, this is unbelievable. Say after me, God bless you. In Jewish days, if you curse your son, they will, they will stone you to death. They blessed their children. Even the Lord spoke in numbers to Aaron and said, In this manner you shall bless the people. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. He was a benediction of blessing that was given to the people every time. Many of you don't bless people. They come to you, they go back scattered and battered. There must be words of love. See, just these things I've taught you, I assure you, it's enough to make you an extraordinary leader. Let's review it very quickly. We are praying. Number one. You, you see, you cannot remember. Number one. Say it. See, some of us are feeling like big boys and big girls. You see, this is the this is the mindset. When you say, please, you are feeling kind. Like this thing, where you are making us become like children. Are you mature the way you are behaving? Number two. Number three. Number four. Don't never forget this. Begin to use it immediately. Begin to use it immediately. It will work like magic for you. See, many of you are already feeling a healthy esteem about yourself because you're announcing that, ah, so I'm having some secrets now. I'll go and try it. Let me tell you, it will open some doors for you beyond your imagination. Please, use it for your roommate and see the way they will love you. Say, this is my roommate. You don't know my roommate. That's why no matter what I use, use it. Just use it first. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. Strongholds of the mind. Walk around and pray in one minute and say, Lord, I have a mindset that needs change. From tonight, begin a journey in me. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, begin to pray and prophesy. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Lord, my mindset, my mindset needs adjustment, needs realignment. You have begun a work in me. Help me. Show me the relevant books, the relevant materials, the relevant knowledge, scriptures that would change me. Hallelujah. Look at me. We are still praying. You're going to pray. Guys, all this sagging your jeans, you sag it down and you tie, you, you tie your belt on your, on your laps instead of your waist. It's called stupidity and childishness. No lady will marry you like that. Grow up this night and start behaving well. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yes. Lift up your voice and pray and say, Lord, I begin to walk on myself.
Come on, you are a leader. You can't remain a child forever. Compose yourself. You are going somewhere to happen. Pray for yourself, sister. Pray for yourself, brother. There's greatness in me and I'm going somewhere to happen. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. Now that I'm a man, I lay aside childish ways. Lift your voice and pray. I take responsibility for my life. I go for knowledge. Pray. I go for knowledge. I go for knowledge. I buy the truth. And I sell it not. I stop a life of falsehood. And I contend for transformation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you who are going, you are leaving for service, lift your hands inside and outside. I want to pray for you. All those who are going for service, lift your hands. We're out of time. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you wherever you have been sent. I speak to you, fear not. It doesn't matter where you were posted to. I command that the Lord will cause the earth to bring increase for you. Go and reign. Go and conquer that territory. You are well able. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that as you go, your road is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, that at the end of one year, you will be a champion. That at the end of one year, you will do exploits. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your spiritual life. You will not forget about God. In the name of Jesus, go and be a leader. We send you to be a leader wherever you are. Your qualities will distinguish you and make you a leader. I pray for your place of primary assignment. May the Lord favor you without any human connection. May the Lord God of Israel favor you. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. I want to pray for all those writing exams. Inside and outside, please lift your hands. First and foremost, I terminate the mindset of failure from you. In the name of Jesus, whatever lies the devil has spoken to you, forget about yesterday. It's a new day. Forget about your test. Forget about what you did not do well. I impart upon you courage. Run with the spirit of Elijah and write your exams. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, you are well able. Take on your papers with the heart of a lion. Go and conquer. Go and subdue. You will not weep. May the Lord honor you. May he reveal things to you in the night. You will not read like a slave. May the Lord open your eyes. May he direct you. Walk under open heavens. For those of you who need financial backup, may the heavens be open over you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord raise men to favor you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every sickness that comes during exams, I banish it from your life. You will not be a victim of malpractice. In the name of Jesus, no one will implicate you. Whatever you read, you will not forget in the exam hall. Let it come in the name of Jesus. Even what you did not read, may the Lord bring it by impartation to you. Go and excel. Do exploits in your academics. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Human beings have always been the carriers of God's anointings. Vessels of grace. There are certain levels of grace. You don't fast your way into it. It's an election of grace. Hallelujah. The Bible says he led captivity captive. Ephesians chapter 4. It says he gave gifts unto men. Some apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists. For the edification of the saints. That they the saints will do the work of the ministry. That together... We will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ. And he gave gifts unto men. And he gave gifts unto men.
I have found my servant David and with my holy oil have I anointed him. It's not enough to believe in God. You must believe in the word that comes from the mouth of God. Everybody say, I believe. Number three, you must believe and receive your miracle by faith. Mark 11 verse 24. Jesus said, What so things ever ye desire. When you pray, he says, believe that you have received it. There is a difference between receiving and having. He says, oh, I thought they projected it. Believe that you receive. Then you will have it. Receiving is of the spirit. Having is the experiential manifestation. He says, when you pray, you must believe. Receive it. It is yours in the now. Listen, the Bible says, receive and have. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, what do you desire tonight? Whatsoever miracle you desire, whatsoever breakthrough, whatsoever deliverance you desire. It says when you pray, believe that is yours. Believe it. Receive it. Receiving is by faith. Receiving is by faith. It's not a physical reality. You don't receive physically. You receive by faith. Then you will have it. In the glory I will stand I will stand And I will lift my hand in the glory we receive every miracle you have for us. It's in the glory tonight we stand. We will stand and we will live our hands sing your glory we will receive every miracle you have listen you will never have in the physical what you do not receive in the spirit are you listening to me you will never have in the physical what you do not receive. He said, when you pray, it is a believe you have. That will be lying. Believe you receive and you will have it. Number four, you must take action. Listen, we call koinonia intimacy, but not just intimacy, partnership. A participation with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's not entirely left to God to change your situation. It's not entirely left unto you. The Bible says, listen to me. That when they came to Jesus Christ, Jesus came and went to a pool called Bethesda. That had five porches. And the Bible says, he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years. Hallelujah. When he saw that man, he told him that would he want to be healed? And the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle. Are you listening to me? Grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that Jesus told him, John 5 verse 1 to 9, you can read it. He says, Take up thy bed. Hold on. How can Jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed? 
He didn't say people assist him. He said, you, stand up, take your bed, and walk home. In other words, if you believe me to be powerful enough, take action. Faith is not faith until there is an action. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. Paul, I mean Peter and John, on their way to prayer, the hour of prayer, the Bible says, and then they saw this crippled man from birth, sitting at the gate, beautiful. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4, verse 1 to 9. And the Bible says that he looked unto them, expecting to receive arms. He did not know that his time of visitation had come. And Peter said, silver and gold we have not. He said, but such as we have. See, there are people that have something. Let me tell you something. Not everybody is a noisemaker. There are people that have something. It's an election of grace. At what point did Peter know he had something? Because the last time the Bible tells us he was sinking, he was not sure he had something. But now he said, uh-uh, it's not Peter. It's something, I have something. And such as I have, give I. He said, in the name of Jesus, Oh, this is the inheritance of the believer. In the name of Jesus. He said, rise up. Do you know the man did not stand? He was just looking because there was no action. The Bible says, listen, this sign shall follow. It will not go before them. It will follow. The signs follow. They listen, your faith initiates signs and wonders. The woman with the issue of blood began to speak. She said, this is my conclusion. If only I can touch the hem of his garment. I don't care who is going to stop me. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Peter, helping his faith to work, held his hands and lifted him. And the Bible says, and he leaping stood. Hallelujah. As the word of God comes, don't sit down wondering. That's the time to say thank you, Jesus. That's the time to celebrate. That's the time to check yourself. Check the tumor. Don't say, I don't want to embark. No. That devil that has been oppressing you, as the word of God comes, you receive it and you begin to take action. This is the last time. That terminal disease, I wave you goodbye. You are gone for good. Partnership. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? I know that God is going to do mighty things. It's going to be very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Hallelujah. Very, very fast. Ushers, if it's possible... Please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption. If you don't believe prayers are answered in this place, please don't write anything. You will not go to hell. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence. I will reverence Lord. Hallelujah. Please pass your prayer requests to the last person by your side. Ushers coordinate them. Let's do it quickly. Hallelujah. Please pass it quickly. So we bow 
as we enter the throne room. Lord, we cast ourselves down at your feet, for you are holy, thou art holy, there is none like you. For in your presence, that is where I must be. He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of praise. Alpha, Omega. For the things that you will do in this place, I give you praise because you always hear me. Whenever I call him, he will answer me. Elijah called on him and he answered him. The apostles called on him and he answered them this is why i know whenever i call on you you will answer me listen let me teach you something before i begin to minister you can never be more confident than your secret place will give you are you listening to me? The secret place is the place of authentic power. The confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge. The Bible says, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom. Let the strong man not glory in his strength. It says, but let him that glory a glory in this, that he knoweth and understandeth me. I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth. Listen, you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality. That he can find expression in the midst of his food. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus saw tears and wept. And he gave us a verdict. He said, the enemy has done this. Can I announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And then the sons of Jacob after that deliverance will possess. 
Oh, there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness. Hallelujah. All the powers of darkness that have tormented you while I prayed, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are. Listen, the Lord told me something. He said for everyone, I was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive. And I, I went to the Lord about it. And the Lord said that all you need to do tonight, that's what he was telling me. He said, if you speak it, I will confirm it. That's what God told me. Hallelujah. When God told me, I started writing a list of the issues I know in people's lives. Because I've been receiving text messages. Some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my God told me, he said if you will speak it, I will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord, he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you, I must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby, very complacent. We'll just jump you. Is that agreed? Because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands as we worship Him. See the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. Just lift your hands. I didn't ask you to sing. Feel the rain of your love. See the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. We see the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. Please lift your hands. When I begin to sing, let it rain. There will be deliverances. Let us hear, so let it rain. Ushers, bring them out. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. across this building. is already moving but we are going to shout the name Jesus listen listen every time the Lord shows me this I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me how many of you believe there is no hiding place tonight. There is no hiding place. At the count of three, my God, you will confirm your word. Everyone under any yoke, any spell, any enchantment, at the count of three, let the power of God bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, shake it, it, it. Oh, go, break it, 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 it. I cast out devils. Go, 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 go,
I expose the power of darkness. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the fire bring her. Liver, 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 liver. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost Satan, get lost. Satan, get lost. on some of you, you will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost. No man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of God. It will happen to some people from outside. Outside, the fire of God is falling and even inside. But I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit, there's no hiding place for any devil tonight. So get take a part Lord, let your power move. Every power, every force of darkness. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. I release the fire. Leave them, leave them, leave them, ushers. Leave them alone. You will come out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know this is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you, know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, 
For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy, put to an end. The power of God is still falling. I tell you, devils are under major attack. But Paul's attack. The angels are walking. Don't wait till you fall down. Receive. Don't wait till you fall down. Has nothing to do with falling. Yeah. was a sound that I heard in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how awe-inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 yeah. hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God, my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. It's the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama, Salama. He's called the Prince of Peace. Hey. Salama, yeah. 
Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still. Stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make his angels, spirits, and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sir King Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Salama. Salama, yeah. Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out. Come out. This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord, let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a pariada baladala. Sarkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. 
Come out, Shekataba. Brento Koprikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go prosketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible, but if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen. Let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Just don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The fire of the Holy Ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarakin Salama. 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarakin Salama. There's someone that has a problem, a heart problem, heart problem. That was your request, heart, something in your heart. I don't know what it is. The Lord is showing me. Please remember I told you don't waste our time. Please. There's a lot of things we have to do this night. Heart. Something pertaining your heart. If you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, Salama. Salama, Hallelujah. Ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom. Ladies' bathroom. Who is that person? Come out. Come out. This has been an issue. You have not shared it with people. Snakes. You, are, you see it. Who is the person? Please. Salama. Salama. Yeah. You are not the only one, no. You are not the only one. This is the problem. God, God is ready to deliver you. Look, this is a family. Are you listening to me? This is not, th this is an apostolic ministry. So there is, we are here, we are a family. When God is mentioning your case, forget about what, what issue of shame. Issue of shame is out of the way. Hallelujah. What's wrong with your heart? Asthma. Asthma. Is asthma really a heart? This one, I'm seeing a heart problem. But I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Listen. I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing this. Come out of her now. Salama. 
out. Come out of her, thou devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go! Kapotoka! Reketaria! Mambroskote! Reketaria daba! Boseketalia! Out! Come out of her! Out of her right now! Sarkin Salama! Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe? You want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama! Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands, both of you. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Salama. You are free. Salama. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. She's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now. Out of her. This lady has a great destiny. This is a snake. This is what I'm seeing. This is a whole snake. Mighty snake. The Lord is against you. Let her go now. Out! In the name that is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama. Yeah, yeah. Salama. 
Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir Salama. 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 Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we're just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hand. Many of you do not know. Listen, please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. Marriage is a blessing. It's not a curse. As I, I, as I talk, as I talk, because, you see, I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth. I want to break certain demonic things. Many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones. For some of you, it's a row in your family. Many people have told you nothing. Just, just hope one day. No, we don't do that nonsense in this place. Now, faith is. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Listen. The moment we shout the name Jesus, some of you listen. You will testify. Whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around. Listen. The reason is because there are ordinances of darkness that are keeping some of you. Your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go. The Lord instructed me to do this. Hallelujah. If you are here, or your loved ones, there has been delay. Men come, they go. Or maybe you have a child and you are thinking you will not marry. That devil is a liar this night. Are you listening to me? So don't just stand for yourself alone. Don't say it does not concern me. Don't be foolish. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? You will see the demonstration of the power of the Spirit. Kai, because, see, I'm seeing blood. I'm seeing blood dripping on the ground. Let me tell you what this means. There are covenants and ordinances. This is what the Lord is showing me. But my Bible says, the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Better things. At the shout of the name Jesus. The demons responsible for any marital delay. God, you said if I speak it, you will do it. Right now, at the count of three, it will hit some of you in a mighty way. Inside and outside. Lord, let nobody be spared. One, two, three. Break, 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 break. Ushers, bring them out. Ushers, bring them out. Break, 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 break. Don't touch it. Break, 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 break. The yoke be broken. The yoke be broken. The yoke, I release you. I release you, I release you, I release you. Every cause of marriage over your family tonight, be free, be free, be free. Go to take at her, go take at her. Time to get married. Bring them out. Don't wait till you come out. The power of God is setting you free where you are. Yes, yes, yes. Ordinances. I'm seeing altars on fire. 
altars on fire, altars on fire, altars on fire. I set them. If I be a servant of God right now, I set every demonic altar on fire. It will burn tonight. I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The cause is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now, devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say, I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases. Terminal diseases. All kinds of terminal diseases. Please. You brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease. Come out quickly. Terminal, only terminal diseases. Please, let's save time. Can we do that? God is locating people. There are some of you, God, has, God is already. Terminal diseases. Please come out quickly, quickly. Quickly. I beg you, if you can run, run. Save time, please. Please. As you come out here, say, Lord, it comes. I hope you know what terminal diseases are.
you because of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? If you can. I'll just minister to you at once, please. If you came here believing God, then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here. And there is an angel of the Lord standing here. Please listen. When we begin to minister to the sick, if we call a case and you came with the person, please make sure you come. Especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers. So that we can hurry up, okay? The power of God will come upon some of you. But it really doesn't matter. That devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three go poto be free Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go, go. Go. Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimonies. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, come back with a testimony. 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 I speak to you, all of you. Come back with a testimony. Come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, yeah, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. Any course you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any course you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. I change it. I change it. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in, every, in any department or any faculty, 
whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of we are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that wait, I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it, 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 take it. Inside, inside, take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside, receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back, inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people. At the back, outside, here. At the back, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. Listen, I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm working as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the logic of Christ because I'm about, to op I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen, every department... Every faculty in Amadubello University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, bow. Faculty of engineering, bow. Environmental design, bow. Education, bow. Social sciences, bow. Sciences, bow. All the faculties in Congo, bow. Every other faculty, bow. Anyone with a missing script, problem of missing script, I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is, where, except you didn't write that exam, wherever your paper is, just as the donkey of Kish was found, I command that paper to be found now. Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessments have been bad, have been, uh, that are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hard they are.
Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into, some of you are, are trusting, let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I stepped you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved ones, they've been writing jam after jam, wayet after wayet. You are looking for papers, it has refused to come. If God be God, if there is a God in this place, listen, those of you who are about to, whether jam, whether DE, you have papers that you need to make up. I stand as a servant of God. I give you the paper you are looking for. Those writing jam, I prophesy, write your last jam in the name of Jesus. Those writing whether Wayek or whatever to make up. And there are some of you who are about graduating, but the papers you have are causing trouble. And right now you already have a problem at the Senate. Mercy, mercy, mercy. You must graduate. You must graduate. Let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school. God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorials for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right, right now. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You cannot read like a slave. I forbid you from reading like a slave. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick, you came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere it's hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay on your hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to lead you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. 
people think you are careless, you are not. That devil will lead you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people, they told you, you, you cannot, I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen, all of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Ha Hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside, I tell you, many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting and start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, every woman problem, irregular menstruation ends now. 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 The fire of God is burning. I tell you, the fire of God is burning. Every lump in the breast disappears now. Disappears now. Disappears now. Every growth in any part of your body. Every growth. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. I cause that growth to its root right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Any pain in any area of your body, I rebuke it. Any trace of mental disorder, whether for you or for your loved ones, wherever they are, and if you are here, let the power of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Let the fire of God touch you now. Shake it, kapa. Reke te koto to 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 baka. Ziko tu riapata. Shake it. Let them go. Let them go. Out. 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 Every kind of mental problem, whether it has manifested or not. Out. 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 Go, go. Every curse, every covenant. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, any woman here, or your sister, or you, who has been barren, please connect. Now is the time. We want to release miracle children right now. I don't care whether they have been barren for 10 years. 20 years, 30 years. The Bible says, and God opened the womb of Anna. Listen, I want you to stand. You are a lady here, you lived a promiscuous life. And then you found out that, okay, some things happened. Maybe you lost your womb or something. God is about to give you a new one right now. I don't care what the problem is. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to curse barrenness and impotency. Low sperm count. All this demonic infertility, whatever, I, I don't care. If it has a name, it's going to answer this night. Are you ready? Everybody inside, make sure you are with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, my Father, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. I pray. There are some of you, listen, some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. 
God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barriness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the curse of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency. Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round off. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen. Look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? Some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seed. Don't mumble and grumble. Just keep your seed back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her, devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this sister, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I, I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. So don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. 
There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. People are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Are you ready now? My father, I pray, it's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty, go, go, go. Keep the offering up. Go, 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 go. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a cause. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray. Poverty be broken. In the name of Jesus. Be broken. Jobless. Go, 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 go. Hallelujah. To me, my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice. I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable, financial prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it. Right from here down to this row, this is what God is showing me. The power of God will come in a strong way. Lift your hands, all of you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two, let it blow right now. Take it, 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 take it. Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is. 
But when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. You are a spirit. Out. Out now. Pain go. Come out. Supokotopekata lekata. Dombretons kebanda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me. Visit them. Please help them. Help them. Ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. God is visiting your mother right from the state. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's your husband. I have to it's your say. husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. Sugar. What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? I'm going... BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Are, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yes. These three things. Yes. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. <laughs> Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families in the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come. Please. I don't know what you did. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing all. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there's... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Were, was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Oh no, somebody, somebody gave me a lift. Please, I, I, God said I should do to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locate this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina. You. No, this Regina is here. 
Your name is Regina. Where's your mother? What's wrong with her? Pray for your mother. Huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you? Believe me. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This is like a Jessica Christian attitude. Become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here, just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing. As in, I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you seeing, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way, listen, they did it in such a way, and this is the invocation, that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they do. Look at I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing. A very tall tree. quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know. If this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. Are you listening to me? She, she, to, she will, I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing these strange powers. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates in. You are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs. Rings on her hands. Huh? Ring on her eyes. Even on her eyes here. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. Noisy spirit. You will go out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. going to rebuke this. Some It will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken. This is what I'm seeing. One by one, they will mention their names and kill chicken. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Come back. Just leave her. She will come back by herself. 
this thing is more than 800 years. This is what I'm telling you. Am I wasting your time? Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? Your time of, what did you come here for? You are barren. Is that? Yes, sir. You are barren. How many years? Three years. You've seen one and three. Mm-hmm. Thirteen years. Thirteen years. You have been barren. Your, your, your situation has come to an end. Lay your hands on your stomach. What did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan. Nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Have you ever seen me? Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 blessings. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Join hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God, and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant, Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke Devorah in the name of Jesus. Devorah in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty 
in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families in the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out. Of. Celebrate them as they come. If you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you, I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed, growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, 
and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. Amen. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? Hallelujah. As we lay hands, all three of us will lay hands. You just lay hands. I'll come back and lay hands on them. As we lay hands on the children, we rebuke the hands of Satan. We rebuke the hands of Satan. No, let me lay hands on them before they go. We are, we are doing it, all of us, please. Very quickly. These are instructions that God is giving. We are not just doing these things carelessly. Any child, any one child that has anything that is not of God, we cancel it right now. We cancel it right now. Eh? In the name of the Lord Jesus, may the Lord visit this child. Let his hearing be perfected. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See how wicked Satan can be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. These children are blessed. Where is he? Bring him. The boy ran away. Because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? Run away. I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. Yeah. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl, devil of darkness. May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord. Ah, you came out for yourself or for your child? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. We're rounding up now. Every closed door, in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment, in the mighty name of Jesus, let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray. I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Eh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happened to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Huh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing this thing. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing it? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? His uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hand. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they are, trying, to, they are trying to introduce you into youth and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. These hardened hearts this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rehila. Who is Rehila? Do you know anybody called Rehila? What is her name? Well, I'm hearing the name Rehila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my mama? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going? Oh, hold on. Don't tell me. I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me. Don't worry. That's your sister there. I'm seeing light leaving you and is entering. I'm going to pray for you. But the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. Be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing it. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Oh, okay. You came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Oh, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you, okay? Thank you. Lay your hands on her. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case. But you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you. I release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. 
I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside, I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please, leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. They are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming, keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.